gonna come. It's gonna come. It's gonna come. All right, y'all. Right. I listen to that little music in the background. That's yes, cute. yes, 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 yes. What's going on, everybody? Lockout Man back again with another podcast interview for you guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate everybody that's coming on to the podcast, man. The, the make it what it is. I really do appreciate that, man. I have a young lady that uh, reached out to me and she was like, yo, I want to holler at you. I'm like, yeah, I'm right here. Holler. So here it is. She's a small business owner. She has an IG with all her business credentials on there. She's been a rookie since this year, 2020. And yes, she is still in training. We're going to get into all of that. She's also a prime driver. Yes, prime. Yes, that's that's uh let's 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 talk to her. Let's see what she got to say about Prime and her experience and everything. She's training as we speak. I would like to bring to the show Miss Cassie Nicole. Whoops, there we go. Hello, hello. Yes, yes, Cassie hello, Nicole. Hello, hello, hello. Cassie Nicole. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for coming on. So right now you're you're driving. Where are you heading to? We are headed to California. You heading to California? Are are you? Yeah, this is my third trip. Third trip. <laughs> third trip to California. Yes, one with my new trainer, and then I had um, took two loads with my previous trainer. Okay, okay. So before we get into the first, second, and third trainer, let's, let's talk about <laughs> yes, let's let's talk about let's talk about California. This is like your third time going to California. Have you have yes, you I ever never been. have you ever been to California before you went there before you got into trucking? No, sir. I'm a country bumpkin. Like I'm literally from the boom top. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, so California. What, what's your what's your thoughts about California? What's what's your feel about California? With with this current pandemic, a lot of things were closed, and a lot of things that I wanted to see were not open. But I think like the scenery, like even everybody's like, "Are you afraid traveling to those hilly areas?" Um, I couldn't see myself living in California, but I would definitely visit more often, even outside of the driving um, truck. Okay, so th right now you going you you going through like like the valleys. You you should be going through. No, actually, actually, um, I'm leaving out of Missouri, <laughs> you, so I haven't even touched Cali yet. So you going so you going through Missouri, you going through New Mexico, you going through Arizona. How how was it? Yes, how, now I drove to California like three times in my lifetime, mm -hmm. and the drive there is painful. I, I'm I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. The only good thing about about driving about driving through to California is the scenery, but God yep, damn it, yep, man, I the scen the scenery could get could could make your brain lackadaisical. <laughs> I mean, I totally agree. If you don't have like something going on in the background, I mean, you can be. Oh my god, you can sit there like, are we there fucking yet? The scene. I mean, just my go, first, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm like, no, no, I don't want to cut you off. Oh uh, uh, no, no, no I was saying, load. I was just saying, the scenery just going through there is like. The first time going through it's there, rotating. yeah, the first time going through there is like exciting because you've never been through it. You know, it's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then when you go there again, the second and third and the fourth time, it's like, oh, God damn it, man. Are we there yet? Mm -hmm. how, how has it been for that you? That was actually my first load. My first load was um, to, to Tracy, California. Mm -hmm. And I think it was less than, it was close to 2,000 miles. And it was 
it was a very interesting experience. It was a very interesting. I think we left like in like the early evening hours from Missouri, and we pushed it. Like we ran those out. We ran those out. So, so it was exciting, but it was kind of nerve wracking due to um, my first trainer. Okay, okay, that's up. So, getting into California, man, it, is is it true? With it? well, for you, I, I already know, I already know the truth. But for you going, yes, but for you going into California, is it true what they say about the traffic? Oh my gosh, I currently live in Atlanta, and that oh my gosh, that Cali traffic is like it's definitely triggered all kinds of anxiety, like. I, that's what I wasn't that cool with at all. Even with the pandemic, we were still running into traffic because, you know, some people, the essential workers still have to be out and about, but Cali traffic has nothing on it now. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I hate. I'm not with that. I hate. I hate Atlanta traffic too. So I, 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 no discrimination here. With a passion. Yeah. With no, a passion. No. No discrimination <laughs> here. So, all right. So tell everybody where you're from, which you already did. You say you're from Atlanta. So to uh, tell everybody. No, actually, actually, I'm originally from Duval County, Jacksonville. Shout out to all my people in Florida. I have strong roots in Atlanta. Like I said. Alabama, Birmingham, and I currently live in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, in the Bulldogs, okay. County. <laughs> okay, okay. So, what was like? What was like growing up in Florida? Florida. We we lived in a pretty diverse area. So I grew up with white friends, black friends, Mexican, you know, everybody. Um, but we lived in like I'm not gonna say what well, hell I can. I can address to any area. We may have been some, you know, pretty rough areas at some point because, like, I stayed with my mom and, like, my dad. I love I love him dearly. But he was kind of, like, in and out of prison and stuff. So um, I was raised by a single mom who kind of were moving all over the place. Okay. I, I think you... Okay, I think you went out. I think I'm breaking up. Yeah, too. yeah, 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 yeah. I think you are uh, breaking up a little, just a little bit, just a little bit. What's the last part you called? I'm sorry. Uh, you said that you lived in a diverse area. I think I got, mm -hmm. I, I think I got pretty much majority of all that. Uh, but you said you uh you stayed in a diverse area. So you so growing up with uh with a diverse group of people, you did did you happen to experience? any of any of uh how can i say this um was there any racial tensions for you growing up you asked me about racial racial tension as when i was growing up in a diverse area yes 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 sir okay so um personally no but my sister's have, and she was a little bit older so you know she had a little bit more leeway when it came to hanging out with her friends and you know, just telling my mom stuff like we're like a single black mom. Like I'm coming from a, a low income family, so just telling my mom stuff like you know she would be playing with one of her white friends, and the dad would be like, you know, we don't we don't usually allow you know others to spend the night in her house, but they, they kind of like made an exception. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what was going on, but I just remember my mom like cousin. She was like, you can't play with them anymore. But me personally, no, I haven't. Even <laughs> yeah it's uh no i knew it it's it's i've been following you for a minute oh well thank you thank you yes, uh, sir, i've been ducked off in the cup for a minute <laughs> uh <laughs> because you know there's you know there's as as of right now because of what's of of what's going on in the world right now is yes, you know it's 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 tension everywhere and you sure, know yeah. i and as of right now, you know, it's people need to people need to like like chill out and 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 come together. Super but there's chill, still like, but there's still mm -hmm. some issues that I I think a lot of people need to work out. They they really need to work out. Definitely need to be addressed, and this is the perfect time 
time. I totally agree. Yeah, this they, is the perfect time. Like, be very vocal. Don't bite your tongue. Don't sugarcoat shit. It's a lot of things that need to be addressed. Mm-hmm. And I feel like everyone's complaining about the quote unquote this fake ass pandemic, and I won't get into all of that. But there are a lot of issues that need to be addressed within our community and between, you know, white and black people. Exactly. It's just too much shit going on. Like you're just driving. Exactly. All right. So before, it feels like deja vu. So before trucking, man, what 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 was you was doing before trucking? I called myself trying to do the full time entrepreneurship, but it was just like, hey, you need like a main source of income, and so um, I was just You know, I made a I, I made a podcast and I talked about about uh, new school drivers versus old school drivers yes, and and the reason why some drivers get into this trucking field. And I said mm-hmm. I said that today's drivers is not like mm-hmm. uh, old school drivers. And I said the reason why a lot of drive a lot of people are coming into the industry now is because they they need the money. It's more yep. it's, it's the freedom too. It's more of it's more of I need the money and it's not a passion for it. What's your st- mm-hmm. what's your stance on that? Is it is it is are you in it are are you in it for just the money or are you in it for the passion as well? What's up? All right, so I have two kids out here, and I'm gonna get it by any means necessary. Okay, that's what's up. So now, so you, so what made you, so now you're in you're, you're in the truck from you know from your retail experience, and you decide to get into the truck. Yes, you literally, literally got into the truck no more <laughs> than a couple of months ago, right? All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> so did you so you decided to go to where to get your license? I have been looking and researching all companies, but I actually manifest becoming surprised. Like this I feel like what whatever we want and whatever our heart desire, our thoughts are so powerful. And I manifested this. I'm just gonna be honest. I had looked into uh Stevens Trans. Or, uh, what's some others? Uh, CR England, and they have a lot of different requirements. So I did have some things that I had to clear up before I was accepted in the prize. But to me, it's like so far with my experience, and I'm not saying like there's a there's no there's no such thing as the perfect company. But from my experience this far, they're like the the Howard of the trucking industry. You know, everybody's not going to agree with me, and that's okay. We can all agree to disagree, but. From 
Well, Prime is Prime is a good company, a good starter company, a good school, yes, a good schooling company as well. And yes, and you're right, a lot of people's going to agree to disagree. You know what I'm saying? But yes, sir. But if 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 you really really interested in go- coming into the game and you really want to get you know your license, then Prime will probably be the one to go mm-hmm. uh the one to go through so i had my i had my cdl you it, it changed now i did come in with my cdl and they require you to have a tank for your resume but they help you get your license so yeah. oh, okay so you came in so what school you went to to get your cdls um no you had no i had to have my cdl for me oh yeah to have your I permit be, okay huh? yeah 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 yes, yeah, yeah yeah all right so but you is that but is you, that pretty common for most of the company yeah, I I think I think it is now, but not all the companies. I I know for a fact Prime, you'll need your permit before you even, uh, you before now, Prime drivers, mark me if I'm wrong because I know a lot of you out there watching, but I know before you didn't need to need to have your permit. You could have just get your you can get your permit. Uh, while you was in Missouri and everything before they changed it up. So I'm not mm-hmm. sure if that's if that's a given with other trucking companies as well. So I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. But I know for I know now for a fact, you know, by talking to other drivers, is that you have to have your permit before you come into Prime though. Mm-hmm. So did so did you so you're you're driving now, so you have your license, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So you, I thought, hey, look, if I can get my CDL license, anybody can. <laughs> I swear, I promise you, PSD. I used to be crying, like thinking about, like, was this really for me? Did I want to go home? I actually came in at a very interesting time. Like, this is COVID nineteen. Mm-hmm. I was quarantined for two weeks. Like, it was some crazy crap going on. Um, wait, you was quarantined. Wait, you was, quarant- wait, wait, you was quarantined. You was quarantined. <laughs> At Prime for two weeks, or, or yes, sir, yes, sir. I kid you not. They quarantined I you. I kid you not. That was the longest Greyhound trip because uh, it had to be a Greyhound ticket um, from Georgia to Alabama. Wait, Georgia they still Missouri, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Cassie. That was the last class. Hold up, yes, Cassie. Yeah, go ahead. They That's still easy. they gave you they they <laughs> even during the pandemic they gave you a bus ticket. Mm-hmm. I kid you not, it was me and like 15 other people. We were the last group to come in um, on the breakdown. And then after that, it shut it down. You either had to have your own personal car or a rental car, and then they reimburse you for the rental car in the mouth. I kid you not. So, so we were all on the bus with like nasty gloves and shit on. Oh, my God, <laughs> man. And I, I, look, I, if you look, these companies and Prime, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Prime in there. All right. I'm gonna say mm-hmm. <laughs> these companies is mega carriers, billion dollar companies, mm-hmm. and you mean to tell me you cannot afford to give them a a a, a plane ticket or or reimburse them for a car? Come on now. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Uh, honestly, if they would have asked me to get on a plane, I wouldn't have. And I don't care what anybody say. Y'all probably gonna be laughing in my ass. I'm 31 and I've never been on. A plane. That's on my bucket list, but I would have, I would have, I would have rented a car. But because I don't, I have never drove that long, um, that many hours by myself. And right now, was fine for me. I'll never do it again. But even if they would have offered me a plane ticket, I would have got on the flight. Cause the one I had, <laughs> so much shit. Like I gotta make sure I got different pair of sneakers and stuff, uh-huh. and my jewelry and stuff. But um. Yeah, I wouldn't have got on a plane. I would have rented a car and took that long. But trip. yeah, I, I mean, don't get me I'm wrong. I got on, I got on a plane. I before before I got on the plane, I was I was steadfast. I was like, no, I'm not getting on the plane. And I'll drive down there and all like that. But all my family members is like, yo, we getting on the plane. So it is on my budget. I, I it got is on my budget. I I got on a plane and believe me, yeah, but <laughs> butt cheeks tight. <laughs> Oh no! I think that's my that's my fear. That's my fear of height. So when everybody's asking me, I'm afraid when I'm driving through these mountains. It's like an adrenaline rush. 
adrenaline rush. It's like a fear factor for me. Mm-hmm. But I'm I'm gonna get on a plane maybe when all this this mess blows over. But as of now, I'm good on this. Well, we'll well you we'll, we'll we'll get you driving. Don't worry about it. We we can get now some places <laughs> yes, now some places you can't you 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 have to take a plane to some places, but mm. majority yeah that's what I'm working majority on, like, of the places you can passport. drive. You can you can drive majority uh-huh. of the places. All right, mm-hmm. so you so so right now so you're a trainee, you're a trainee with Prime. Sure. What's what's your experience? with with the trainers at Prime? So far. So this is my second trainer. I literally stayed on the first trunk with my trainer for 22 days. And he is not a bad person. I will not be sad about him. But we did not match as a, for him to be my trainer. It wasn't a good fit. And let me tell you something. Now if, something got to sit right in your stomach. Now he was... With something intuition... Uh-huh, go ahead. Now he was he 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 was a male trainer, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you said y'all two didn't match well. What was what was we did not. what was the not match well? What what was the when I say not match well as far as when it came to our different outlooks on life? I have like let me tell you something. I'm a whole mom out here. Like I got two kids. I got a lot of responsibilities back home. Mm-hmm. So um, it's our, our viewpoint and what we felt that was more important for each other. You know, we didn't agree on a lot of things. Okay. So it was never like nothing um, inappropriate, anything sexual. He was very respectful to me, but um, we just didn't. We didn't. It didn't work out. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the, you, you guys just had two different views pretty much. Mm-hmm. Uh, He's younger. He's younger. And like I said, I have two kids out here. So I've been a mama since I was 17 years old. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, it's certain things that, you know, I may feel that's more important. Like, I'm out here. I'm a rookie rookie. So me gaining my experience is the most important thing. And me, you know, saying, keeping us both safe on the truth. So I won't go into detail. Again, I will not speak bad about him as a person because I'm sure he's probably listening. But we just did it. Um, it didn't last as far as training. Okay, okay. That was up. That's so up. So twenty so twenty two days, huh? It it it, it, it yeah, twenty two days, not twenty five, not thirty, or not thirty one. Couldn't it was exactly twenty two days, could, but who was down? Couldn't couldn't <laughs> couldn't push it couldn't couldn't push it, huh? I got off that truck on Mother's Day and I was out they had uh took me off of the unassigned me from the truck by Wednesday. Now that was kinda hectic. That was kinda hectic. I was told I was making a bad decision, but let me tell you something. One thing about it, two things for sure, money is not everything if you don't have a piece of mind. So I had already been prepared for it financially. I had to sit off I had to sit off of a truck for three weeks with no pay. So that's why you see me, you know, going a bit harder for my business on Instagram. Okay, so wait, so for when what? they when they mm-hmm. under when when Prime unassigned you from the truck. You yes, sir. you didn't get paid while you was waiting for another trainer. No, because I went. I got off the truck on Mother's Day right. and I was at home. If you're at campus, you do get the, the trainee pay, but while at home, you do not get paid for that. But I, while I was on the road, and you know my um my my check when I was in school, I was saving it stacking that money. Because one thing about it, two things for sure, I'm gonna make a way out of no way. I've been doing this. I've been doing this. Even before I had kids. So, but yeah, while you're waiting at home, you do not receive a paycheck. So why, well, why did it number? Well, I got three questions. So number one, yes, sir. Go ahead. I got you. Number one, why did you go back home? Number two, why did it take them that long? And number three, why you didn't stay at the campus? Number one, um, uh, you said how people uh wait, you broke up there a little bit. I said number one, why you why why you went back home? Well, number one, I went back home. I got off his truck on Mother's Day, right. so I had to go and get the hard copy of my CDL. Like, oh, okay. I had made an appointment. You know, yeah, something. I had already had this plan, baby. <laughs> baby, you can't pull wool over my ass. So, um, I got off the truck on Mother's Day. I had my my appointment at the DMV on that Tuesday, uh-huh. and um. I had already started emailing and calling them and by Wednesday um, afternoon, I was going to sign up for the truck. 
Okay, so I had my kids and everything. <laughs> okay, so okay, so they they knew you had to go. Prime knew you had to go and get your yeah. license, your your hard copy. I had it to June the first. I had it to June the first, so I got off. Um, and the thing about it is, my train, my first trainer, he's actually from Georgia. Okay. So he was taking his. He was going to take home time to know he. He was gonna run solo while I was off this truck. Oh, okay, and, so he dropped um, you. you know, he so to, he dropped yeah. you off at home. Yeah, he dropped he dropped me off at home, but he had to put his truck in his truck. Oh, so okay. He actually is from Georgia. Okay, that's yeah. that's a good okay, that's a good thing because I was I so thought nothing like we got into an argument or that. Oh, okay, because I thought that he I dropped. Can't afford, yeah, I can't afford no drama. Okay, I thought he dropped you off at the terminal and you went back home. <laughs> Uh oh, hold on, hold on. You break, hold on. You breaking up? Still breaking up there? Hold on. You. And we're actually going through a crazy uh, area. So let me know. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Can 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 we hear? Check one two one two. Was that a buzzer? Yeah, that was a buzzer because you was going. <laughs> yeah, that was a buzzer because you was going through you know breaking up and all like that. <laughs> okay, can you hear can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. All right, so he dropped you okay. so he dropped you off in Georgia. You was able to go and get your Yeah, I went put off the truck or nothing like that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so let me let me clear that up right now. There I can't afford any drama. I was not put off the truck because oh, okay. I know people can take stuff and run with you. Okay. Nah, but you drama. but instead of going back on to his truck, you you just decide to call them up and say, Hey, uh, you know, assign me another trainer. It just didn't I have been out. I have been going back and forth about it, but let me tell you something. One thing about intuition, mm -hmm. when something doesn't fit right in your spirit, and I'm very vocal. Everybody knows me. I'm very vocal, very blunt. And um I'm not going to I'm not going to sit around and I know something's wrong and not speak up about it. But it's ways that you do everything. So boy, you know, certain conversation with it, but it was never an issue I was off of the truck. Oh, okay. Um, everything was planned accordingly. You know, I had to get my CDL. Um, I can't. I don't recall your other two questions. Oh, the other two questions. Well, they're pretty much irrelevant right now. But uh, the other question was, <laughs> the other question was like, I I'm I'm tripping on the fact that they didn't pay you. While oh yeah, everyone knows that. While you're at home. You do not get paid. And I was going to ask them. I ain't going to lie to you. I was like, okay, can I rent a car and go back to Missouri? That way I can keep, you know, practicing on the pad. Right. Backing, et cetera. Right. And, um, um, yeah, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. When you do your, like, your match on a computer for a trainer, long story short, there was a waiting list when I got off his truck. And they were trying to really, they were like, you're making a big mistake. But money is not everything. You don't have a piece of mind. And it was like 14 other women in front of front of me. So some of them wanted um, a, a female trainer and some of them wanted a male trainer. But let me say, some time it is everything. I was calling them twice a week, hey, any updates on a new trainer? And I had started to get really anxious, like, man, I just want to go apply for one of these temp jobs and just thug it out. And I was like, no, I didn't come this even that far to not just go back to Prime. And so, um, by that Friday, um, the dish, um, the fleet, the man that over the fleet manager, he was like, you know what? I think we got a trainer. So he was on his home time and he hit me up like that, that Monday or Tuesday. So we talked, we're asking each other questions. I'm like, what are your expectations? Vice versa. Um, we we'll want the truck as a team because when I was on the truck with my first trainer, he had me driving all the time. He told me that even though I was employed for with Prime, that I worked for him. So he was basically making me drive all the time. So um, everything, um, you know what? I I'm super thankful. I couldn't be out here grinding like this for my kids. You know, like I'm just super thankful. I can't even stress this enough. I can't. I can't. So you know what? Um, again, timing is everything. I was patient. <laughs> I was patient. Um, I was getting a bit nervous because I'm like, okay, I'm used to that weekly paycheck, but. You know what? By by you saying that the that the dude, it sounded like it sounded like young sound like young boy was cocky. You know what I'm saying? You, no, you, do you feel? Oh no, baby, I'm one of the most humble. 
No, I not you. No, not, not uh, no, 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 not oh, okay. you. I'm talking about. I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about your first trainer. He, he sound cocky. Oh, to me. oh. He's no cap. He, 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 <laughs> no cap. Baby. He, he sound. He, he sound <laughs> real cocky, especially when you said. Um, especially when you said that. Oh, okay. Well, you, 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 you work for me. No, I work for Prime, yes, bro. Sir, and I told him. I, I kid you not. I told him, I said, let me tell you something. I'm nobody's money. Right. And I kept telling him, like, I'm nobody's money, baby. Let me tell you something. One thing about it, two things for sure. I'll get out here and make some money. I will get off this show. This is it. You're not the only trainer. This is the only company. So before I make you feel that I'm listing you, baby, I will get off this truck immediately. But I will say, when I got off the truck, it wasn't as strong. Like we didn't get into it again. Right. Because like, you just have to. You have to handle people accordingly. Right. I will say that you have to pen- let them feel like they, they did that in the other, but baby, I, I keep a plan B to end. So, yeah, he did tell me that. He told me that even though I was an employee of crime, I worked for No, you know, you, you, you know why, you, you know why they, you know why they, uh, and you're not the first driver that ever, or trainee that ever told me that, yes, that, that ever told me that, that worked through prime. And the reason why, mm-hmm. and the reason why he, he came to you and said shit like that is because prime mm-hmm. pays your money into his, yep. in, into his check. It's it's his it, it's into yes, his, sir. and then they'll take it out and funnel it over to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that's it's not a lot of stuff. It's not. It, it's I, a lot of stuff, right? It, and it's not like you know, I, I can't see that you working for him. It don't work like that. I kid you not. You don't. You work I for pri- you, you work for Prime, just like I work for Prime. The only difference is is that. They put my money added to your paycheck, mm-hmm. and then from there mm-hmm. they'll subtract it, and then give me my money from there. And everybody that knows me, I don't even have to say anything, but my facial expression says a lot. And every day, because my sister's been in the game with time for five years, I was texting her I'm like, "Sister, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, what did I sign up for?" It was something every day. And I didn't want to go into detail, but I'm going I'm to let y'all sit on a little bit. No, I got this you. This guy had a problem with how I, he had he had a problem with how I drove. He would accuse me of being late to, my, to our appointment. It was a problem when I took my break. He wanted me to run so far where I didn't even have to take a break. Like, it was just so much stuff going on. It would be days like, I was just literally like, about, like, trying not to cry because I'm out here for my children. I didn't come, but. I knew this stuff wasn't right. I knew this stuff wasn't right. And on one incident, um, we were, they ended up canceling the load or something. And he was like, that's because you took an hour and a 30 minute break to rest your eyes or whatever. And come to find out, they had ended up canceling. Man, this guy would be out here beating his friends all in California. Like, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to run. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. You can hang out and do whatever you got to do when I'm off your truck. But I'm trying to run again. So for him, it wasn't about my math. It was about the revenue. But I'm like, we're not making any money just sitting here like this. Like, it was just so much going on. Man. Like I said, I was on that truck for 22 days, not 30 or 31. Like, exactly. Like, like, like I said, man, it sounded like young boy was just too damn cocky. And it's, it's a good thing that you got up <laughs> off the... He that you got a up. big slice of home Yeah, pie. it's a good thing that you uh, got up off that truck. And it's unfortunate that... Mm-hmm. It's, such a, it's unfortunate that a, a lot of you trainees got to go through more than one trainer to get, you know, to get what you need. Mm-hmm. Now, through Prime, though, through Prime, you got to you you gotta go, what, Fifty? What is it? Fifty thousand miles? Fifty? Yes, sir. It's fifty thousand miles, and now I'm here, and it's it's not really fifty thousand; it's sixty thousand. But man, let me tell you something. My trainer, this, my trainer that I'm on the truck with now, he is super thorough. Like we run super hard, so he wants to be done with my training by no later than September. So think about it: you can knock out what twenty thousand miles in a month. So I'm super thankful. So. If all goes well and I don't have to go home, nothing comes up with my children. Like we been, we do not see, we do not see, and I'm so thankful for that. Now let me ask you this: the 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 first trainer was he what yes, was sir. he leasing? Was he leasing 
or was he company? He is an operator, but he needs to be a company driver because he always agrees. Okay. And the driver that you with now, the, <laughs> the driver that you with now, he's company or he's leasing as well? Lease. Oh, okay. Lease. So is it is this safe? But it's a big difference. Is it safe to say that majority of the trainers at at Prime are lease drivers? That's what it seems like to me. I talked to a few, like my PSD trainer, he's a company off driver, but as of now, he's just doing PSD. Shout out to my PSD trainer. We're still cool. Like, I can call on him any day, any time. He'll give me advice and how I can go about handling stuff. But yeah, I know a few of my trucker buddies that are um, company drivers that train. I couldn't see myself doing it. I'm just being honest. I like my space to All right. So, how. how- have 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 you met any well let me put it to you this way because prime got the book of youtube period i don't care what nobody say it's mm-hmm. like everybody and their mama has a youtube page that works for prime <laughs> did yes, did sir. prime i follow a lot of dope people out here did prime offer you the book of youtube and if they didn't did they did they mention anything about about you doing social media about Prime? No. Um, honestly, for the most part, I keep my uh, my business, um, my, per- my small business separate because that, that's just like my personal life. But no, no one makes anything about YouTube. I- Uh-oh. You drowned out. You drowned out. <laughs> okay, there we go. We back. Hello? Yeah, we back. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I could hear you perfectly fine. No, I no, I couldn't. I couldn't hear you. Now, what what was the last thing? I, <laughs> uh, the last thing you mentioned, you were asking me about. Um, do I feel that most of you? Oh, oh the pri- about, yeah, the, 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 yeah, the prime, yeah, the prime, the prime mention anything to you as far as uh, as far as you know using social media and stuff like that because like a lot some of the some of the youtube truckers you know they 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 use prime you know they put it in their Mm -hmm. taglines they they talk about the company Mm -hmm. and all like this and then it was another youtuber she used prime and she's she talked about she talked about her bad experience and prime called her up and Mm -hmm. said yo we need you to take everything prime related off your off your channel. So did they come to you? Did mm-hmm. they come to you new guys and mention anything about social media to you? No. Again, I'm fairly new for the most part. No, and um even when I use my my you know, my small business and I've been blogging my trucking journey, mm-hmm. my, my trucking journey, I don't tag anything prime related. Oh, okay. Just for just for that, those reasons. I follow a lot of the YouTubers that worked for Prime or that previously worked for Prime, and it's just, I don't do that. And I haven't decided whether or not I want to get a YouTube channel because I'm a certified introvert. So even now with me doing this, this interview with you, it's, a, it's, you know, it's different. You know, it's... But yeah, I, I stay real low-key. You know, I, I what I suggest for people now because you know there there was a trucking mm-hmm. company that I promoted back in the day. Uh, yes, I, I promoted uh, J and R Shrugal hard. Um, not only that I promoted them, but I got paid for promoting them as well. So every time you heard, oh, wow. so every time I need a piece of that money. It, yeah, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> I got. I got. I got more from my referrals than I did from uh from anywhere from from them paying me. Oh, wow. But now, but now as as I left JNR Swoogle and went to my current company, I don't promote them. And I suggest mm-hmm. and my suggestion to people that's that's coming into the game and they, you know, they turn they turn around mm-hmm. and say, "Oh, hey, you know, I work for such and such trucking company and this trucking yep. company is the best thing since sliced bread and yada 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 and this mm-hmm. that and the third and I'm like I I stop and then you become a target. Right. You become a target and you're in the spotlight. Let me tell you mm-hmm. something. You're just a number at the end of the day. So I keep all of that separate. And like I said, I'm a certified introvert. So I try to I try to stay as low-key as possible. 
Exactly. But no, I do not um, tag anything. Because think about it. This is my bread and butter, and I'm not going to let two or three viewers um, have any lead way to say, well, she was doing this, and she was doing yeah. that. I'm all that taking yeah, you, yeah, you got your you you, you got no. your fair share of haters out here, especially for people that don't mm-hmm. even know you. You know, like it's it's a couple of YouTubers. Mm-hmm. Just don't have nothing. Don't have a nothing but time on their hands. Right. All these money out here. We're trying to get and it was a couple of Let's it was a couple like. of YouTubers <laughs> that was targets. Like they didn't they they mm-hmm. they actually called yeah them. they actually called their companies to try to. That to try mm-hmm. to mess with their money, man, and I never, I, I said, no, nah, I don't need that kind of shit. I don't, I don't need yeah, that. Yeah, because that's my bread and butter at the end of the right. day. Right. So, because see what I no, say. I'm very mindful. I'm very mindful. Okay, go ahead. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you good? You say you're very mindful of. I'm very mindful of who I even follow on social media. To be honest, with mm-hmm. you. like I'm not even trying to be funny. Like I am subscribed to um, a few people that. Um, on YouTube or whatnot, and I even you know reached out to them, talked to them on the phone before I even got into um, accepting into Prime via email, and it's some really dope people out here, and just giving me the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I'm even mindful of who I follow on social media. Yes, networking with people. Yes, and as far as 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 what I was saying is that you know I I don't need it. You know, I don't need somebody calling in mm-hmm. saying, hey, lockout men said something that was out of the ordinary exactly. or, or he did something mm-hmm. out of the ordinary and all like that and trying to mess up, trying to mess up my bag. I don't need that. That's why a lot of people. What I said earlier, what I said earlier, I can't afford no drama. I don't need them 99 problems. Exactly. Like, it's too much money out here. I'm trying to get it for my kids. Exactly. So it can be with all that saying about Exactly. And like I said, a lot of people be asking me like, yo, lockout man, who you drive for? Who you work for? No. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Can't tell you. And I ain't gonna lie to you. Before before we started following each other on social media, I was already subscribed to your channel, oh. but I like to sit back and observe. And if it was anything with controversy and drama, man, no, hell no. I'm good on all yeah, that. Yeah, see, I try to, you know, I, I had I had one. Back in the day, I had, <laughs> had one. I had to hurry up and had to hurry up and you know swirl that down in the down 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 down. Cause I don't I, I I don't I don't do drama and I you know I I I present myself totally different now after after that little mm-hmm. after that little incident like that. And it only took that one time. Oh, yeah. It only took that one exactly. time. Exactly. Like, Exactly. Only, mm-hmm. only takes one for me because, like I said, I do not have drama over here. Don't like it. Don't want it. That's mm-hmm. why. That's why I do the. Uh, that's why I do the. Uh, the the legal stuff now. No, I like that. That's why I do the. I like that's that. Why I do the, that was very professional. That's why I do the. I was like, oh, yeah, he's a because, official. Right. I, I had to <laughs> because you know, like I said, a lot of people would come back to me and be like, oh, okay, well, you know, I, I did that interview. And I I need you to take mm-hmm. that need you to take that down. Like can't do that. <laughs> it's mine. Now will I be now will I be able to share this? Yeah. With you on my oh yeah. Oh yeah. You'll be able to once okay, once we get finished cool. with everything. You definitely would uh would be yes, able sir. to share it. Um. All right. That's what I told you earlier. I was like, I wasn't rushing you or anything, oh, no. but I'm about to do a social media detox. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I see I'm that. Like, I see that. Place. So what was, what's, what's behind that? Because uh, you, you said after June, you said after June, you. Yeah, I do that. I do that when I feel like I'm just, you know, it, it, it can be draining. And again, I'm a certified introvert, but I do want to stay relevant with my small business. So um, I do it for spiritual reasons. It may be, you know, a month. It may be 90 days, but spiritual and personal reasons. And again, to get through this training, like I don't have to post my every move, but you just feel, I have you to, just feel you know, kind of deep. You just feel burnt out, right? Oh, uh, at times I do. At times. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right. So as of as as of right now, being a being a you know being a female, being a single mom, how do your how do your kids feel about you being away from uh, being away from home and doing this trucking thing? That's been one of the hardest things because let me tell you something. My kids are always with me. Like they're my little shadows, and so we talk daily, multiple times a day. We do FaceTime dinners. Um, they're doing these summer virtual summer enrichment classes online and you know, FaceTime is everything. So that has been the most the most trying.
terrifying part. So the last time I actually seen my children were the last two weeks after um, I got off the truck. So as soon as I got off the first train of the truck, I drove to um, Alabama and I got my kids mm -hmm. and then they were with me for two weeks. So that's been the, but I have an amazing support system. Shout out to Marquez, Katara, um, that's my kid's dad, their godmom. I could not be out here hustling for my children if it wasn't. I'm, I'm confident knowing that if something was to happen to me today or tomorrow, that my kids are going to be well taken care of. Oh, okay. Your kids, you, now you say you got two kids. What's what's the age? Yes, sir. Um, They're 13 and 8. I have two little girls. Oh, 13 and 8. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah. So, even even before I made that final decision, like I set my kids down and I'm like, hey, we we, we got a lot of stuff going on and mommy got to make some moves because they're 13 and 8. You know, I'd rather for anything that I want to discuss with my children, they're going to hear it from me and not know, oh, your mom out there in the street. No, hell fuck no. I talked to my kids and I asked them, how did they feel about me driving trucks by night feet? And they said, well, mama, you gonna be out there? He's scared of them big old rings. I said no. I said I gotta do this so we can, you know what I'm saying? We can live better. I don't have to tell y'all. No, I hate telling my kids no. Mm -hmm. I hate not being able to do something for them. I hate a lot of people to pay the call. Mm -hmm. And I had got tired. I took so many L's in 2019, man. I had so much shit on my plate. I felt like I was at the damn buffet. <laughs> so I had to make some moves and quit. I ain't lying. I, I hear you over there laughing at my country ass. I'm dead. I serious. hear you. No, I I like, agree with you. I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to give you a bomb you. drop for that. Yeah, because you had to, you had to, you had to, you had to, you had to do something to make, you know, to make, uh, make the family right. And speaking of which, you say you I'm got, you say you. you got that home yes, support. Sir. That is that in, mm -hmm. is that with, uh, with with the kid's father? I mean, is he still in the picture? Yes, is he sir. Is he still in the picture yes, as sir. far as taking care of the kids while you out here? Y'all two still together, right? Yes, sir. Oh no, sir, no, sir. He has an amazing. No, no, oh. no, no. Me and my children, me and my children, they have a co-parent. Oh, well. okay, okay, cool. So, did yes. you, no, no, did no. you, did you speak with him prior to coming into trucking? I did. What was his? I asked him his opinion. I asked him how he felt. I told him I said, Whoop. "We down here. We're going through it." He, he wanted me like my dad. Even my dad, they wanted me to move back to Alabama. But everybody knows, like Alabama is very slow in country. And I just couldn't go back to Alabama because I've been in Georgia since 2015 mm -hmm. and I just refused to move back. So I talked to him. I said, how do you feel about this? I need you to get the kids. He said, yeah, he's got to. He said, you don't, you know, you don't even have to ask me that dumb ass question. Within two weeks, my kid's daddy pulled up with his truck and all their stuff was packed, beds and everything. And I, I'm telling y'all, that's Superman. Like, I don't, I don't have no baby daddy drama. So when people try to, um, try to relate to me on uh, how your kids, daddy, do this. Now, let me tell you something, baby. That's Superman right there. So I speak highly of him. What Hello? was the... What? How long? How long was y'all together before be, before y'all separated or before y'all decided to? Oh, I'm thirty. I'll be thirty two in August. Um, he'll be thirty seven this year. I've been knowing my kids' dad for many, many years. So that was my longest relationship. It was like you know 10, 10, 10 11 years on and off. But it wasn't healthy though. We were young. Um, you know, we were young. We only cared about, you know, going to the mall and getting Jordan oh, okay. and chains and grills. So we have grown tremendously. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because uh, I was about to ask you why. Hey, I'm, let me tell y'all something. I don't want y'all to. I don't want y'all to look at my my social media and think I'm just this quiet shit. Because I didn't have my years a while and now too. Oh, late. okay. You know, when you get older, you you realize that you know, we out here wasting money on dumb shit. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta start. You gotta start. I wish I, wish I would have took my own advice. A um, fifty-year-old Sean should have. Do you have any children? Oh, yeah. If you don't mind yes, asking. Yes, yes, I have one. Mm -hmm. I have one kid. He's twenty. He just turned twenty-four this past Saturday. So. Oh wow! You don't look like you have a twenty-four-year-old. Are you yes, serious? Yes, I am blessed. Oh wow! That's a Thank blessing. You. Shout out to you. Shout out that, to all, all the fine daddies out here. Happy. Lady thank you day. thank you thank you i appreciate it <laughs> you're man. welcome yeah he uh yes, he's sir. 20 he just turned 24 on saturday he's my he's my rock he's he's my everything well i'll be so, damned man is he interested in trucking uh, no <laughs> no <laughs> 
<laughs> no, he just actually uh, a, a lot of milestones happened this year. So he just turned 24. He grad yes, sir. He he graduated with his bat uh, with his bachelor degree this year in, out of college. Oh, shout out to so, him. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come through. So, yeah, shout out he, to him. Uh, a, a lot of milestones for him. So me and his mother, we're, we're, we're definitely proud parents, even though we've been separated for a long time, but we still we still come together for him. So that is what's up. And at the end of the day, that's what it's about. That's what it's All about. All right, so earlier you said about about Atlanta, Georgia, and you kind of said, you, you kind of yes, said, sir. mentioned something about uh, uh, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I hate that show. I mm-hmm. really do. Mm-hmm. But Every, I I don't I don't watch television at but, all. Give me a hardback book. Give me a paperback book. I hate. But it, oh, I hate reality. But TV but shows. the portrayal of Atlanta in Love and Hip Hop is not the reality of Atlanta. Nobody talks about the homeless. Um, don't nobody talks about how serious the homelessness is. The uh, like people getting evicted. Nobody want to speak on stuff like that. And I just feel like I need to be doing more. So. Even with me having my virtual consignment shop, I'm going to open up a nonprofit in the next three to five years. Mm-hmm. Because, like, think about the dads that are out here homeless with their children. They're being turned away, or a mom, she can't even bring her son in because he's 14 years old. Like, it's a lot of shit be going on. Like, children dying under bridges. Like, oh my gosh, what you see on Love and Hip Hop is shit. Man, there's so many homeless people down there, people getting evicted. I just need to be doing more behind what, the what was the reason? I mean, what was the... A lot of people... Expect, I, I'm from Ohio. And I say just about... Mm-hmm. I knew I, I knew two people personally that moved that moved down to Atlanta, yes, Georgia, but I know it was I, mm-hmm. I knew it was more people from Ohio that moved down to Georgia. What is what what is the what is the gravitation down there? What was the reason why you moved to Georgia? Uh oh. Check. Can okay, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to call and get friends together again this week. I don't know what's going on. My nah, phone. don't don't worry <laughs> about it. It's, it's on and off. We make it. We we making it work, man. We making it work. Okay, we making it yeah, do what we, it do. I'm gonna have to call them and get some straightening. Yeah, again. we we making it work, man. So what was the what was the reason? What was the reason <laughs> or the gravitational pull that pulled you to Atlanta, Georgia? Even though it's not like what it used to be in the early 90s and stuff like that, Atlanta is still the mecca for like small business owners. And I knew that I had a better chance at elevating in Atlanta as opposed to Birmingham, Alabama. Again, it's no shade. Shout out to all my people in 205. I love and miss you all. But I was, I'm going to be honest with you. Had I stayed in Birmingham, I would have ended up either dead or in jail because I was running with the wrong crowd, you know, just just trying to help everybody. Everybody is not meant to be helped. And I'm just being honest with you. Even now, people be like, you out there driving trucks. Like, that's why I didn't tell anybody that I was thinking about going to school. But my CPS, this is my so damn negative. And what you may be afraid to do, I'm willing to take breaks. It's a lot of money out here. And you got to be willing to take breaks. So I wasn't elevating um, where I, I felt stuck. I had to come to compete in Alabama. This country is slow. Mm-hmm. Like they're behind on a lot of shit. Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So before we get on up out of here, man, as for as as for a young black female in trucking, how how yes, how do you feel the industry treating you guys? Hmm. To be honest with you, I really try to stay low key out here. I don't like to draw attention to myself, but I find that white, black, whoever, they're very helpful when they see me hopping out this truck. Like, they be smiling like the Kool Aid man. Um, I haven't, I, I'm serious, I haven't experienced anybody just being downright nasty and rude to me. I guess it's because I, how I carry myself. So when I am in these different states and they're asking me, where are you from? You say yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am. And no sir, yeah, you're so polite. I mean, I do have home training, but for the most part, I haven't experienced anything like anybody just trying to like handle me no type of way. Um, I 
will say that as a black woman, I have to work three times as hard as, you know what I'm saying, the next person or whatever. But for the most part, I'm just soaking up everything like a sponge. Like, I'm super thankful. I'm super thankful. All right. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Any, uh, any advice for 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 the new women that's uh, that's thinking about getting into trucking? You you have any advice for them? As long I would say this, I wouldn't I wouldn't make it a decision based on emotions. Oh, I lost my job, etc. But I would definitely give it a try. I would pray on it. I would manifest it. Make sure you have an amazing support system and man, do it. I'm telling you. I'm trying to eat good, Lashawn. There's plenty out here. I don't see myself applying for anything. Like, once I'm in the trucking game, like, there's so many opportunities because I've obtained my CDL. I can't see myself applying for no damn Walmart or no damn whatever. I'm too old. I'm too damn old. So, um, take, be willing to take free. Don't tell everybody your moves because people are going to try to tell you, oh, what you mean? Afraid to be out there. Man, I can get killed in my apartment. You know what I'm saying? Like, things happen. Things happen. So don't be afraid to take grief. I cannot stress. To, tell, to, to hear people tell me that I inspire them, little old me, basic ass, single mom, me, like, I'm telling you, that shit makes my day. That shit makes my heart smile. Okay. It makes my heart smile. Um, I would say be willing to take grief. Like, they can ask me questions. I may not know everything, but... If I get the answer, I'll get back to them. But you see, don't be afraid to take risks. That's my, you know, advice that I would give out to any lady truckers that are trying to get into the game. All right. So you, so being, uh, so being with Prime, you're you you and Prime paid for your you know license or paying for your for yes, your sir. license. You pretty much obligated to them for the contract so did you did you have to sign did, yes, sir, one did you have you you had to sign a contract or anything like that yes sir for one year okay so you so as far as as far as prime goes you 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 comfortable mm-hmm. with you comfortable with uh with prime after your training you you think you'd be comfortable with them man you know i told them you know what I told them when I had that, that BS going on when I was quarantined for mm-hmm. two weeks? This company, like, these people, my, the, the, the instructors, etc. these people have treated me better than my own family. So I honestly, as of right now, I don't see myself um, jumping from carrier to carrier. But again, things are subject to change, you know. Um, elevation is everything. It may, it, it's going, it possibly will come a time where I may need to move on, but as of now, I'm straight. Again, I can't, you know, speak too soon. You know, I'm a super rookie, so as of now, even after my contract, yes, I do plan to stay with Prime. Okay. Because me and my little sister, we may be out here seeing me, so we'll blow the air horn for y'all. Okay. Your, so your <laughs> sister still drive for Prime, right? Yes, sir. She's a lease operator. She's been with them for five years, so... I knew what I was getting into. I actually went on the road with her um, January to see it this year because I wanted to see the good, the bad, and the mm-hmm. ugly. So, you know, we were out here getting it. <laughs> so let me ask you this last question because you mentioned the fact that you said that your your sister's the least driver. Did during during yes, the orientation, did they they did they like kinda like try to hip you in the lease operations? Because it's like a lot of the new a lot of you new drivers that's going into prime that's that's coming into prime mm-hmm. y'all y'all going lease like right after y'all finish training i i don't i mean don't get me wrong that's i mean I don't get me don't her. get me wrong i'm i'm cool on all like that but i would i mm-hmm. i would think i i would think that you probably might want to at least do about a year maybe a year and a half exactly. or something exactly. like that but a lot of I can't for, I can't speak for anyone else personally, but um, my little sister was company for like two years and then she went. Okay. So I don't, as of now, I don't know what I'm going to do, but more than likely it's going to be company because I don't want to just jump out there like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to lie to you. I know it's good money, uh, but. It's a lot of responsibilities that come. Did they? With. Did they? <laughs> so as did now, they mention? Did they try to offer that to you while you was in orientation? 
Um, they do, they do, they don't offer it, but they do mention like you don't have to go cut these damn things. You can come straight out of training. Out of training. Oh, okay, okay. So, so the company kind of like they don't come directly at you. They kind of like they mm-hmm. kind of like come at you indirect. Like, oh, okay. Well, you know, when you come out of training, you 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 can you can you they they come at you with like mm-hmm. they, did they come at you like uh well. You could turn down your own loads. You can make more money. Mm-hmm. They they come at you like that, right? Here's the thing, Lathan. My my experience when I um, got to time was a bit different from everyone else. So, um, no, personally, no, I did. I wasn't um, at that again. I was quarantined for two weeks. So it was a lot of stuff I was doing right for my hotel room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My training, um, my online training, et cetera. But, I mean, to each his own. I'll say to each his own. I won't speak down on it. But what may work for you may not work for me. But as of now, my plan is to, um, after I complete TNT training, is to go come. Oh, okay. And who knows? Maybe later on down the line, I'll consider me. But I'm definitely not going to jump out there. All right. That's what's up. Well, Cassie, thank you. And I hope I wasn't rambling. No, you no, you good. Don't like I said, we make it we'll we'll we will <laughs> we make it work. We will make it work. Cassie Nicole. <laughs> that looks, yes, sir. That round of yes, sir. Really Thank you for coming me. on. I really do appreciate it, man. You're welcome. And uh and the advice You're welcome. Thank you for you're having very me. Very welcome. And for the and for the advice that you gave for the uh for the young ladies that's that's uh that have decided to come out here is a good one too. So that's what's up. That is what's up. Thank you so so much for time. Well, I do appreciate you. You so so welcome. Well, guys, there you have it. There you have it. I appreciate Cassie Nicole coming on, uh, talking her experience and her, you know, her life with uh with uh trucking and prime in general. Yes, prime driver. Yes, sir. <laughs> anyway. If you guys have if you guys have anything that you want to come on with, you want to share, you want to talk about, you want to send me videos or anything like that, you can hit me up in the Gmail. That's lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Or you can go over to Thank you so much. Are you welcome? You're welcome. Or you can go over to Instagram. That's where I found her right here, Cassie. Hit me up in the DM over at Instagram. You know, it's easy. Lockout Men. Same name. All right. So, everybody, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for all the content that will come straight to you. All right? That's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to do. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for listening. And overall support thank you very much and on that note me and cassie we are gone